I've spent the last two weeks uh, rebuilding my log trailer and uh, it's a whole lot better. The arch on the back is way, way taller and I went ahead and took the old arch and put it up on the front. I uh, still got the 6,000 pound axle under it uh, from a trailer house. Um, bracers for the back arch. But the new thing is there's the main winch and that is a tilt winch. It runs up through that pulley, down through that pulley, and back up because uh, we found out it wasn't quite strong enough. We did a couple loads yesterday, but there's these pins under here. One on each side. Pull them out, and then when I activate that winch, the deck, which I can actually lift by hand, raises up to that point, which is enough to get the logs on the ground at the back end, and then I just drive out from under them. Works like a charm. So, yeah, pretty happy about this one. Everything lights up properly. Got the tongue jack. Finally got a battery box, too. So anyway, I'm about to go over, uh, went over to a friend's house uh, yesterday and cut down a dying uh, redbud tree and, uh, and then a much bigger Bradford pear and I got the redbud loaded and brought back and I got the, uh, got the um, half of the Bradford pear loaded and brought back but then it got dark. So now I need to, uh, this one I gotta kinda push down on the bed. Nothing ever goes perfect for me, you know. There we go. So, uh, anyway, I gotta go get the other half of the Bradford pear. And I uh, thought I'd take you guys along with me so you can see it load and then you can see it dump. So, I'll uh, get the camera back on when we get there. Alright, here we go.
at the house and there's the load that I just got. <clears throat> We're going to be dumping it off here for a minute, but first I thought I'd show you the pile of Bradford pear that we brought over yesterday. And this big guy here might actually become a drum. We'll see. I have to check him for flaws, but he's uh, 24 on the long axis and 20 on a short axis, so it's big enough for one. Never made a Bradford pear drum. That might be a fun one for a video later on. But this is what I really want to show you guys. This is cool. This is Redbud. This is the load of Redbud we brought yesterday. It is covered in pearls. I mean, just all kinds of them. It's awesome. So be looking forward to some uh, pearl Redbud turning videos. I'm sure that I'll get a few out of this. So, yeah, good stuff. But it was in bad shape, as you can see. Some of these are like completely hollow. <laughs> In fact, when I was cutting it down, a rat jumped out and ran down the tree when a branch fell. It was great. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Poor rat. Probably had a heart attack. Anyway, let me set up the camera, and uh, I'm trying to think what the best place to put it is going to be, where you'll be able to see everything. Maybe right in here. Anyway, I'll get set up, and uh, we'll be right back. Sides are jammed. They didn't slide against the poles like they were supposed to. So I'm gonna load everything I can by hand. And then try to put it back down back up and pop it off. Not quite as smooth as I'd hoped. Well, we got her done. We got a lot of stuff to play with here, don't I? I think I might do some walking sticks. What do you think, guys? Maybe some more didgeridoos? They're gonna have to dry for a while first. But, it's a start. This same fellow that gave me these has got another big Bradford pear that's got to come down. And on one of his properties, he has two really big gum trees that got to come down. And we're going to go get those, but I think I'm going to be about two weeks before I go for the next Bradford and about a month or so before I go for the uh, first of the gums. So we'll see what happens. Have a good one.